Hey guys, coming with you with my July and August favorite. I decided to put this video in one only because a lot of the stuff that um that I've been using are pretty much been my favorite since May and June. So I didn't want to be repetitive, so I decided to just add I decided to just combine the months together because a lot of things didn't really change. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what's my favorite things for July and August. I'm probably a little bit late, but oh well. As you know, my blush, my blush, my brush cleaner is the MAC brush cleaner. I love this stuff. This is probably my, I need to go through about a bottle a month. So I'm about halfway. So it's almost time to purchase another one. My favorite two nail polishes for July and August. I've been really going back and forth between the Sally Hansen. This is called Sun Kiss. It's actually the one that I have on my fingers right now. And I've been rotating between this other Sally Hansen and this is Blew Me Away. My favorite soap, as you know, I love the Argon soaps from Eden Allure. Um, all the soaps have Moroccan oil and they're natural soaps. And this is the lavender one that I also had purchased. And this is like, I love both of them. And this is almost done, so it's almost time for me to do another order at Eden Allure. I've been loving my Costa Scent 12 blush palette. Pretty much every color in here I at least touch once. I mean I have my favorites that I do use a lot. Usually the ones up here you can tell like I use these more but I do love this palette and it's been really much my favorite palette for the month of July and August. For my contour. I love the MAC to the Beach Golden Bronzing Powder. Um, this is what I use to contour my face, pretty much. I'm going to try the MAC Blunt. I heard it's also a good contouring. It's a blush, and I heard it's, you know, a lot of people use it for contouring, so I wanted to try that. But I love this for contouring. This works, this works great. One of my favorite blush as well that i also been using a lot is the Band of Roses from the Mineralize um, that came out. I can't remember when it came out, but it was this Mineralize. Ooh, and I think I have a crack in there. Oh, what did this happen? But this is it right here. Maybe I must have dropped it, but I have like a crack right here. Oh, I don't want that to break because I don't have to buy a new one. But anyway, this is it. And I love this blush. Sorry, I kind of hurt that, you know, I saw a crack in here. Don't know how that happened, but yeah, like that one. From MAC, Dare to Wear, I love these two lip glass. Ever since I got them, I've pretty much been rotating between them two. And it's the Dare to Wear, which is that pinkish one. And it's the Win Me Up. I mean, I love these. These look good in a lot of new, a lot of neutral, a lot of brown lipsticks. I mean, lipstick. I can't talk to them, so I'm tired. So I really do love these lip glass. I've been wearing them ever since I purchased them. Another um, two lipsticks that I've been wearing a lot between the month of July and August is the Indian Pink by NYX. And I'll open that for you. I've been wearing this a whole lot. It has like a pink, pinkish, I guess, like a pinkish peach to it. So I've actually been wearing that a lot between the two months. And of course, my MAC Creme de la Femme. I love this lipstick. I've been wearing this a whole lot. And this looks really nice when you add the Dare to Wear pink lip glass on top of it. And my favorite eyeliners, well, sorry, lip liners, so far this mod that I used a lot was the NYX Mahogany, which is this one right here, and as well as NYX Cabaret. I love these two colors right here. Um, two hair oils that I've been using on my hair a lot this month is my Sweet Almond Oil. As you can tell, I love this oil. 
it's like almost done leaves your hair very soft and my avocado oil which is very rich in protein so if your hair lacks protein this is very good for that yeah I have another bottle waiting anyway so because this is like down to like a couple drops left um my shampoo this month well since I actually purchased it it's been the Jamaican black castor oil shampoo I actually love the shampoo and I think I have to do a product review on this one but I really do love the shampoo ever since I buy it that's pretty much what I've been using in my hair and I mean it's not halfway but maybe a couple more washes will be there so I actually love this this is definitely a keeper my lotion for the past two months has been my Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works you can tell I do like this I use it a lot and pretty much have this much left in there and my body spray this month pretty much been my heavenly kiss angel mist by Victoria's Secret this is this smells really nice and it's not strong like it's a very nice light smell so it's pretty good for the summer and the spring and probably the fall too um, my perfumes for this month I try to rotate my perfumes monthly because I have so much so I don't want them to get jealous you know from using one too much or you know I just don't want them to feel some type of way so this month I use my Maximera um, my Christian Ottinger this is his new one it smells very nice and this one is very light his perfumes are all pretty much light anyway so if you don't like strong smelling perfume then you can definitely check out the Ed Hardy line I use my Mrs. Dior Cherie by Dior this is another another light perfume like when I go to work because I do work at a hospital I usually do wear my light ones because you know you don't want your patients and stuff like oh you know her perfume is so strong and so especially you know a lot of them get like nauseous and sick so I like to use my light one so this is definitely a good one and when I'm going out of course I love my Viva La Juicy and I've been using this a lot this is a great perfume when you're going out and about you know in the night you know it smells really great and I this perfume is a classic to me this is my Jean Paul Gaultier this is the original bottle like the original perfume his first ever one and a classic this is my second bottle and I love this perfume I mean I have the summer one but this just never goes outdated for me I love this perfume this is like one of my favorite perfumes besides my Dolce & Cabana the red one and um Marc Jacob Lola actually stepped up a lot I like that one too but I really really love this perfume and for some strange reason the past couple months I've really been like spraying this again and really I don't know it just really reconnected sometime this month so Jean-Paul Gaultier and this is the classic one I'm looking around just to make sure that I went through everything like I said a lot of the stuff I'm still using my Christian Dior mascara I still I'm still using the NARS share glow foundation pretty much a lot of the things I'm still using or still doing so that's why I kind of combined the two months because you know a lot of things weren't different so but I decided to do a July slash August favorites just to share with you guys you know what I've been doing and I'm just making sure I ran through everything um, well if you guys have any questions or any comments um, leave me a message and pretty much it guys these were my favorites and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later